Hi folks, I'm Steve Judd, I'm an astrologer and this is my forecast for the sign of Gemini for the month of April 2010. The first half of the month, compared to most people around you, is comparatively quiet. There's an energy of mobility around you. You should find your communication systems, your thought patterns, your emails, your telephone calls, your face-to-face -face conversations and your movement, your sociability, your travelling, all of this is an, is an area that's getting a bit more energy than has been recently. Not excessively, but you are going to find that the pace of day-to-day -day life picks up in a way that is actually pleasurable. It will make you feel more used and it will make you feel more useful. So this is a good thing. And, and perhaps the first half of the month is a good time for putting energy into your life because... Uh, as you get into the second half of the month, and particularly from about the 23rd, 24th of April onwards, Venus moves into your sign. And when Venus goes, moves into Gemini, then you don't really want to be that concerned around the practicalities. You're more concerned around enjoying yourself and having not so much the whale of a time as a, as a more proactive external life. So... This month starts quietly, but then builds up to a point where you should find that in the last week of April, you're going to be much more active than you might otherwise normally be. So be open to this. Don't make any fixed travel plans. And you'll find that as you get towards the end of the month, so your ability to make snap on the point, on the spot decisions becomes a lot sharper than it is now. There's no need in the short term to make any big decisions. There's no need to push for any big changes. Change is what's happening to other people. And if you go around sticking your nose into other people's business in the first three weeks of April, you're going to find both that your advice will be unwelcome and that you may end up financially out of pocket. This is not a good time for financial risk. So... Spend the pennies, but let the pounds look after themselves. You'll find me at stevejudd.com and at birthdaymatcher.com.